This weekend, we saw two violent incidents at two Las Vegas casinos. On Friday, police shot and killed a man at the Bellagio who had reportedly robbed that casino. Then last night, four people were hurt after shots were fired inside of a hotel room at the El Cortez. 8 News Now reporter Darlene Melendez spoke with a strip security expert. She joins us live with more on the approach law enforcement takes to respond to these types of shootings. Darlene. Well, Sasha, I spoke with a former FBI agent who tells me, of course, these sorts of crimes are unpredictable. He says the best thing people can do to stay safe is uh, be aware of their surroundings as they let officers contain the chaos. A robbery at the Bellagio Friday night ended with a shootout between the suspect and officers, a situation that could have sparked a lot of panic for those inside. But witnesses say it was kept under control. Nobody really saw anything. We were all surprised, like... Oh, wow, we just got robbed? Like, what? Tyler Scott paints a different picture following a shooting at the Al Cortez Hotel just one day later when police say four people were shot after a dispute on the fifth floor. I start to hear shots. I look down the street and there's just mass chaos going on. People running away, people looking for police. How do you tell him to run? With more than two decades under his belt as an FBI agent and now running a business specializing in homeland security, David Shepard says the best way to stay safe as an onlooker is through situational awareness. You don't have to run all the time. You have to look to see what happens. Just don't overreact to the situation. Look, you can't know where to run unless you know the direction where the initial threat comes from. How can you react? Am I safer here? Police say the suspect who robbed the Bellagio casino cage fled to the outside valet area where he also tried to steal a car. And that shootout with police occurred. The suspect later died. At the El Cortez, the gunman was taken into custody following the shooting. Different responses from law enforcement, but both supported by Shepard. We're looking at a casino, for one. Inside a room, completely different. Outside a casino, on the street, something else different. The casinos are insured. The money can be replaced. We don't want anything happening inside the casino. He can shoot wildly. We can't in law enforcement. We have to make sure nobody gets injured, only the person. So they responded good. And another tip is one that we've heard repeatedly, but one that Shepard adds might be the most important. If you see something, say something, no matter how small, because you don't know what you might be preventing. Reporting live, Darlene Melendez, 8 News Now.